Today is May 1st. It's a national holiday in France and in many other nations. We're going to take a moment now in our segment Entre Nous or Between Us to take a closer look into what that holiday means to the French. That's with Solange Mouzin, Mouzin who joins me on the set. Hi, Solange. Hi, Jeannie. May 1st has become a mixture of a number of traditions here in France. But first and foremost, it is Labor Day. Yeah, it is indeed. The 1st of May is called La Fête du Travail or La Fête des Travailleurs here in France uh, or Workers' Day in uh, um, in French, and unlike other jours fériés or holidays uh, uh, or national holidays, many people in France refer to this day as both férié and chômé. This is because French law, since 1947, stipulates that the day is chômé or not worked. It's actually the only holiday where this rule exists. We're a case in point that uh, there are exceptions, uh, of course, but you, if you do work like we are uh, on May 1st, you are actually paid double. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> uh, this law has to do with the spirit of the day to pay tribute to workers' rights and to stand up in support of other causes as well. Now, last year, for example, uh, the French French unions joined uh, forces against Macron's pension reforms, and between 800,000 and over 2 million people came out on May 1st. Now, this year, the figures will obviously be lower, smaller than that, but it is a tradition that's been going strong for over 130 years. May 1st, 1945. For four years, it was Philippe Pétain's Saint Day. Vichy managed to commandeer Labor Day, but Paris is now liberated. It has returned to its working class roots. Today is focused on International Labour Day. There's a lot of symbolism to be here all together in this context. Now, the origin story of International Labour Day, it actually dates back to the 1880s and the eight-hour workweek movement. In 1886, workers protested for humane uh, working conditions and hours, and they were their protests were violently suppressed. Outrage soon spread from Chicago to the rest of the U.S. and across the world. Now, interestingly enough, uh, the U.S. actually does not uh, celebrate International Labour Day. Uh, historians say this actually has to do with a long history of suppressing working-class unity and uh, also a desire to, stem, to sort of step away from some Marxist and communist undertones that existed and exist still for some people on Labor Day. Instead, uh, in the U.S., Labor Day, it is celebrated in September. Right, but here in France, it is May 1st, and the far-right party, the National Front, which is now known as the National Rally, has a real history of making that day a big day of gathering for them. Yeah, starting in 1988, uh, the then leader of the party, Jean-Marie Jean -Marie Le Pen, he uh, uh, would gather in front of the statue of Jeanne d'Arc near the Louvre in Paris, and he would use the saint and also the holiday to gain attention. In 2015, uh, the far right's gathering was also the scene of the family divisions that were happening with his daughter, Marine. Jeanne, help me. Now, since 2016, under the helm of Marine Le Pen, the National Rally has actually taken a step back from this Joan of Arc tradition. It is thought this is part of an attempt to uh, distance her party from the extre its extremist and racist history. Now, Solange, May 1st is not just Labor Day here in France. It's also, for many people, a celebration of spring coming finally. And the French have a long tradition of offering flowers on May Day. Yeah, and actually, traditionally, it is not a lilies of the valley, but traditionally, it's actually sweet briar roses or eglantine rouge that were worn as boutonnieres uh, as a tribute to the lost blood and the lost lives of workers on Labor Day. But during World War II, under the Vichy regime, it was swapped out for the more pristine Lily of the Valley, Aww. which uh, was already actually popular among fashion houses because it is so elegant and it smells so good. And that actually caught on, especially since the legend goes that this flower, Le Muguet, already had a courtly prestige uh, since Charles IX was so enamored by a bouquet that he was given on May 1st, 
1560 that he made it a tradition, one that coincides with the Celtic May Day or spring festivities. Today, there is law, actually, that stipulates that any French citizen, anyone, actually, can sell lilies of the valley on May 1st, as long as you're a certain number of meters away from a florist. So in France, you'll see lots of uh, citizens, lots of people, uh, everyday people, Kids. making, exactly, <laughs> making a little extra cash. Over 25 million euros are spent on these flowers every year, and some 60 million are sold, so nearly one for every uh, uh, French citizen, and for the tradition says that it brings good luck. It does. I love that. It's kind of like the French version of the lemonade stand. Exactly. <laughs> Solange, thank you so much for taking that closer look at May 1st and all of the traditions that go around it here in France.